And we're back with Mike and Athena live, and I think we ran out of guests and out of time, didn't we? No, we There's did more guests. not. Oh, my god. We gosh. did not. We have Elizabeth Hayden, who's running for Congress. United States Congress in our studio, yes. on our show. I just saw her commercial this morning, but I met her at the Greek Food Fest with yeah. our friend Kareen. Um, Kareen's like, I'm bringing my friend Elizabeth Hayden. She's running for Congress. And uh, I got in the mic, gave her a plug and all this, and they... <laughs> These Greek dancers, we've never had dancers like that at the Greek Food Festival before. And they call Elizabeth up on stage and they're all doing the, I mean, these dancers are, are like from Greece. And they were, what were they doing? They were kicking high up, they almost kicked your head. Yeah, they were kicking over my head multiple times. And it was a, it was a great festivity to say the least. <laughs> were you scared that they were going to kick you in the head? I was nervous because we, they put a little napkin on top of oh our head. Gosh. And Those it was Greeks. just barely missing the edges of it's my like, hair. <laughs> Please, please, please. And they probably drink ouzo or something. Yeah, and anyway. So you're, you're not Greek. And I thought you weren't even, I watched the commercial. I thought you weren't even from, from Fresno. But you're a Fresno girl. Sunny Sunnyside side. High. Not just Sunnyside High, but the valedictorian. Of course she was. She's running for no, Congress. Oh. You have to be smart. You can tell that she's smart. Well, what have you been now doing since Sunnyside High? Anything? So, um, a few things. Uh, after I um, graduated from Sunnyside, I went away to college at Stanford. <laughs> Stanford. Wow. Stanford. Just a little college. I probably, I tricked them into accepting me. Yeah. <laughs> um, then I came no. back to the Valley here. My brothers and I opened up a number of cellular franchises here really? in Fresno, then up and down 99. But I saw how firsthand government regulations continue to hurt job creation for us in the Valley. Yes. Yes. So I went to wash. I decided to get involved in politics, uh, went to Washington, D.C., thought I'd be there for a year. But as all of us knows, it takes a long time to truly understand the legislative process. Oh, yeah. It's, I read about it's, you. So my, my father lives in D.C. It's, you worked it's at high tough. levels. Of, you had important positions there in, in, uh, with the Congress. Yeah, so I actually worked for the House Foreign Affairs Committee. I was the chief of protocol, so what that actually means um, was I oversaw all heads of states at the U.S. Capitol, so presidents, kings, prime ministers, etc., yeah. but then wow. saw a lot of the missions abroad um, around the world also. So you're ready. You've had training to be a congressperson. You know, and the, so I wasn't intending on running at this point in my life, but when I came back to reconnect with family and yeah. my parents had have a grocery store right next to uh, Roosevelt High School, which has been there for yep. well over 25 yep. oh, years. Yeah. Yes, I, I think I know which one. Yeah, I, I realized that we were still talking about the exact same, same problems we are talking about yep. decades ago. Yep. And I was fortunate to have the values of the Valley, but also understand how to move legislation across the finish line mm -hmm. in a bipartisan way in Washington, yep. D.C. So how long, how long did you live in Washington, D.C.? I was on and off for about six years. Oh. So Stanford's a pretty good school. Did you just end your education? That was it? So I also, while I was working full-time in Washington, D.C., I ended up getting my grad degree, my MB, my master's in business at Yale. <laughs> hey, I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Spent many times so in New Haven. Nobody's been more preparation than you. Education, experience in how to run the government, how to make things happen. Nobody's Stanford, Yale, and then you went to D.C. after Yale? No, I was in D.C. while it, at Yale. So it was full-time okay. work okay, and full-time grad yeah. school. So wow. I crammed. What I would Jeez. recommend is don't do full-time working for Congress yeah. and get your grad degree at the yeah. same time. Full-time working for Congress isn't 40 hours. Did it's you, like 80 did hours, you right? sleep, girlfriend? <laughs> Absolutely not. Jeez. <laughs> so, then, so, now, so now you're running against Jim Costa. So did you know him in Washington? Did you do any work with him at all? We no? met once. Okay. or twice um, on the House floor and I think one other time we did go to a, a foreign um, foreign government event uh, okay. together. So you met him once or twice. Once or twice prior. I did not think I was running for Congress but Re truly, when we time. came back, and I was actually went back to my parents' Asian grocery store, yeah. and I was sitting on the floor, like redigitalizing the whole store for them. Yeah, I realized a lot of people in our community are still struggling with the same problems yeah. of, you know, poverty or challenges yes. with immigration, yes. and we're still talking about water. And I decided like it was That's time to put thing. my money where my mouth is, yeah. stop complaining about it, and let's do something about it. Let's I've, do it. I've always been solutions based. And, um, and we need to get something done for the Valley here. So you yeah. went off to Stanford, you went to Washington, D.C., and you come back, and it's like, nothing changed. Exactly. Yeah. That's no what progress. That's no what water. happened. Well, the water thing was, is huge. 
Yeah, I definitely agree. We need this for you know our agriculture. We need yeah. this for our economy. When we have more jobs here, everything only gets better. There's more opportunities. Of course. Um, you know, and 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 we need to figure out ways that we can streamline um, the regulatory processes so that we could eventually get water here to the valley and build more water storage. What? What? Oh, I'm sorry, my great. Yeah, well, I just want to say you have a lot of experience in government politics yeah. and all this stuff. But you're the all-American girl. You're born here. Here. Mm -hmm. You went to Sunnyside High School here. Mm -hmm. You're a valedictorian here. You were in the school plays. Can you say anything about that? <laughs> we're not going to make we you were, sing today. We were singing Les Mis. Will you sing a line with me? Sure. Here we go. I dreamed a dream as time goes by. Uh, wait, I just forgot it. We didn't do, just do, like, do, do, do. do a life worth living. <laughs> I dreamed a dream I God never, would never die. die. I dreamed that life would be. Something, so it's been a few years. Do, 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 that yeah, play. yeah. And then after that, I did a lot of other musicals, including Les Mis, and I can't believe I'm drawing a blank with yeah. some of the uh, lines right now. Well, you know, that was a few years ago, but you're still really young. So, what other issues? We talked about water issues and stuff like that. What what other issues are you going to be concentrating on? Immigration. You know, okay. Hands down, as okay. the daughter of refugees, getting immigration in our country right. Cambodia. Uh, yes. So, okay. uh, my parents. Are, I'm Chinese Cambodian. Okay. Um, and for far too long, I think all, our elected officials officials have punted this topic down the yes, line yes. and any policies that are even out there they don't work for the valley here we need a fighter i grew up in southeast and i have been a fighter my whole life yeah. yes she's from fresno 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 <laughs> in the valley Your i whole grew valley up on wife. butler and chestnut yeah, sure. um and yeah. i've been a fighter my whole life and i would love nothing more than to fight for our community and have a new voice for us in washington dc as we try to tackle immigration reform and get it right. You know, I, I want to say something. I'm not for or against. We're, we're neutral here. I'm not being, <laughs> we're neutral here, but sometimes Republican. it's good to have a little turnover, get a younger voice in there and, and somebody who's going to, you know, has the energy to fight. Yeah, and that's the thing. I believe we need more generational diversity in Congress mm -hmm. because, so the average age of a member of Congress is 57 years yeah. old. Um, nothing wrong with that, no. but I also believe that people in their 30s, 40s, 60s view life very differently yes. and the future of our country. When, you know, we had that Facebook hearing, I don't know if you guys watched it, a couple, yeah. like a few months ago, and uh, elected officials didn't even know what encryption was. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're about yeah. to make decisions on technology, automation yes. for the future of our country. And we need people who are looking at it long term because I do believe technology is going to be one of the biggest um, areas that we face. Do you feel comfortable yeah, talking so about your age? Because you look younger than I think you are. And the educational background and the work experience background, you have a lot of experience. Yeah, I'm 33 years there old and I it. have the energy yeah. to, you know, take um, yes, to go fight so Washington, D.C. Um, and I understand the values of the valley here and also how to get how to get stuff done in DC. I have a really stupid question. I <laughs> know I'm so terrible. Okay, so can I living in Clovis, can I vote for you cuz it's so weird when we get in our voting thing. Yeah. Sometimes they leave out certain areas and people that I can't vote so for. So Clovis is not in my district. Oh, damn it. I, I believe See, that was a that wasn't such a dumb question. Up, yeah. That wasn't. That's why. But Mine's I are gerrymandered. Jim Coster or something like last year why did they, they ask me you've always had for? newness you always had yeah. newness oh okay. so lines Sorry. are gerrymandered here in the valley um, okay so so unfortunately no. no however you know if you're in tower district you know we are in right now maybe i'll switch my address to there tower to right here yeah only if you move you can i am not suggesting yeah, you do, do that, that. Do that. <laughs> I'm going to move to the tower okay. and vote for Elizabeth we're out of time. I can. Tell us, we're, we're out of time, but tell us if somebody wants to volunteer or get yes, involved yes. or donate get on the money phones. or something. Get on the well, phones and help you out. Yes, yes, definitely. You can go to Elizabeth Hang, and it's spelled H-E-N-G dot com. We also have a headquarters right on Shaw and Millbrook. Um, you can go on our website, get the address, um, and we can give you more information there. Awesome. If you can't reach her, call me. I'll give you her direct number. I have it. So we will be back with more Mike and Athena right after this.
Elizabeth Hing for Congress. Woo! Woo! <laughs>